test drive, 2022 Subaru WRX embraces rally car routes. Please support us by pressing the like button and subscribe so that this channel will grow and provide many benefits for you. Thank you. Turns out cheap, or at least reasonably priced, fun truly still exists. Who knew? The 2022 Subaru WRX is new, right down to the platform. With turbocharged power, a manual transmission, simple controls, and functional design, the Rallybred Sport Sedan lives up to its heritage and at a good price. But it has some functional flaws, a divisive design, and steering that could be better. After spending a week hustling the 2022 Subaru WRX around town, here's where it hits and misses. Hit, let's rally. It appears Subaru has embraced the WRX's original mission as a rally car for the street. It has all the right equipment for the job, standard all-wheel drive, a turbocharged engine, a manual transmission, and sport-tuned handling. The new to the WRX 2.4-liter Turbo 4 packs 271 horsepower and 258 lb-ft of torque. Boost comes on earlier than in the last generation car. The six-speed manual transmission is somewhat notchy, but it's satisfying in an era of automatic and dual-clutch gearboxes. The most overlooked part is a manual handbrake that's just aching to be yanked for some sideways action. You won't find that in a current, or likely forthcoming, Honda Civic Type R. Miss, light to the touch. The WRX's steering is a bit light. In a crosswind on the highway, with ice and snow-covered roads, it required an annoying number of corrections to keep things straight and steady. It's less bothersome at parking lot speeds. This wasn't an issue with the last WRX, and I'd prefer slightly heavier, more stable steering. Hit, dimpled, but not for effect. Excessive cladding with an unfinished look is a point of contention for many. The WRX's fender flare cladding may not look good, but it is functional. The plastic features a dimpled finish almost like a golf ball. Road and Track reported that this helps improve airflow. Engineers said the unpainted, textured flares perform significantly better at keeping air flowing smoothly around the car than smooth, painted flares. Beyond that, the front flares have functional venting for further aerodynamic improvements. Function is always sexy on a sports car, even if the look isn't. Miss, Civic Vibes. The front end of the latest WRX takes an evolutionary design approach. It's sleeker than before and looks good. The rear end looks like a 9th generation, 2011-2014, Honda Civic. It's a shame the rear end didn't take an evolutionary approach like the front. If you are going to copy someone's homework, at least copy someone that aced the exam. Hit, one touch is a premium touch. The WRX is a bargain sports car, not a premium luxury sedan. Yet, my $33,100 premium trim model featured one-touch window controls for every window and every switch. That was a nice surprise. The flat-bottom steering wheel is just the right size, though it's a shame it cannot be heated. This is a Subaru after all.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.